Hello everyone and welcome to Artalic Heart. This video is going to be my submission for the YouTube Artist Collective theme, Wicked Wonderland. Now, if you don't know what the YouTube Artist Collective is, I'll talk a little bit about the group later on in the video. But first, I want to give you some insight on the inspiration for this piece, some tools I used, and then some helps and hints for you to be able to create your own pieces. So let's get started. First thing I want to cover is a few of the tools that I use at the beginning of this piece. First, I did a quick thumbnail sketch and then transferred the thumbnail sketch over to my computer, enlarged it, kind of cleaned it up a little bit, and then used a light box to transfer it over onto an 11 by 14 mixed media paper. And I really, really enjoy mixed media paper because it can handle lots of different types of art. So you can use it for Copic markers, color pencils, crayons, paints, um, a lot of different things. For the initial sketch, I used my Pilot Color Eno pencils. They're a mechanical pencil and they come in several different colors. And the nice thing is that they are erasable. So you get a really fine line and a lot of fun colors to choose from. All of the art tools that I used to create this piece, I'll leave links to those where I buy them online in the description box below. So if you want to check out or get some more information about them, you can follow those links to that. For the inking it in, I use my Copic Multiliner in a warm gray. Um, normally, I always use either black or a kind of a brown color, but recently I just picked up a warm gray and tried it out here and absolutely adore it. It has this really soft line to it, so if you're not wanting that really harsh kind of black outline, but you still want a nice outline, using a warm gray multiliner can really give you a nice effect. I kind of think it looks a lot like the color of a dark lead, um, so it worked great for me. And then for the flat coloring of this piece, I use my Copic markers. A little hint for you, whether you use Copic markers or any kind of markers, paints, crayons, color pencils, is to have a color swatch, um, just a piece of paper that you can lay down the colors as a sample. Sometimes the colors will differ from the sample that they have like on the cap or on the side of the pencil. Um, so having it actually on paper is going to help you make a better decision on what color you want to use. If you're using a medium that is transparent, like with Copic markers, my best suggestion is to layer it from light to dark. So I'm going to begin adding in my colors using the lightest tones first and then go back over top of it and darken them uh, a little at a time. You're also going to notice that I don't always use just the typical shading we you know you think of a shading as a darker tone of the original color, but you'll see I'll use blues, I'll use greens, yellows, oranges, all those kind of things to pull out colors. It adds a little interest and variety into your picture. So now let's talk a little bit about the inspiration. For any of you who have watched some of my videos before, you may know that I am such a huge fan of anything Alice in Wonderland. So I was super excited when I found out that Wicked Wonderland was the theme. I think the reason that I enjoy the story of Alice in Wonderland is that we can relate a lot. Even as a young child, I have always had extremely vivid dreams, um, dreams that are just like their own adventures. Um, sometimes they're kind of creepy and scary, and sometimes they're just really weird and bizarre. But my favorite ones are the dreams that I actually have a friend in the dream. And it doesn't have to be an actual real life friend. Sometimes I just have a dream friend and they go on the adventure with me and it just makes it less scary and more fun. So I decided to do a picture of Alice kind of in the midst uh, of all of her chaotic wonderland adventures. And I wanted to give her a traveling companion. I don't know if you've seen them on social media. They have sometimes um, pictures of a whole bunch of different characters from a show. And they say, you know, if you could choose one person to go on an adventure with, who would you choose? So I decided to do that with the Wonderland characters. And I thought if she could have one character to have an adventure with, to be her traveling buddy, to help her through, who would that be? And I decided it would be the Cheshire Cat. Because uh, first of all, cats are cool. I love cats. Yay. And the Cheshire Cat, you just, you can't like surprise him. He just always seems to know what's going on and has an answer for just about everything. And so I chose the Cheshire Cat. For the designs of Alice, I looked at a lot of um, dress designs for kind of the Lolita look, which are those kind of really frilly fancy, um, just really pretty dresses. I don't know how else to describe them. They have lots of lace and just cute. Um, so I 
put together a couple of different designs and came up with that. I also kind of wanted her hair not to be super curly or really nice looking. I figure, you know, she's been through a whole lot by the end of this uh, adventure that her hair is going to be a little on the limp side and maybe not as nice. And then with her hair also, I decided to put a little personal touch. Um, I like to add a little color to my own hair. So you'll see in the video that I actually put some nice pink highlights to her hair. I wanted her hair to be kind of a brown color with golden highlights. So I layered in the lighter tones first and then slowly began to build up the color little by little and you'll see um, I put a lot of work into the hair not just with the Copic markers but later on I use color pencils to add in a lot of work and oh that hair <laughs> I think it turned out really well and well worth the time and effort that I put into it so the inspiration for the Cheshire Cat actually came from a previous video that I did which was a live stream in which you guys um, requested that I draw a cat and so I decided to do a kitten who was a Cheshire cat and he was rainbow colored so we had the rainbow Cheshire kitten so I decided to kind of pay homage to that video and do another rainbow Cheshire cat this time all, all grown up so for those of you who watched that video you might recognize the Cheshire cat if you didn't watch that video I'll put a link to it in the description box below so you can check that out if you'd like to there was a ton of detail. I just wanted to have this piece have a lot of things to look at. So a lot of things going on in the background and each element I'm trying to pull in some sort of theme from the story. So it was a lot of fun to create this piece. But now let me go ahead and talk to you guys a little bit about the YouTube Artist Collective group. So this is a group of, I think, about 11 different YouTube artists. Every two months, we each individually create a piece based on a theme that is actually voted on by you guys. So the YouTube Artist Collective has a Facebook page, and we put a list of ideas up, and then you guys vote, and the most popular vote then gets chosen as a theme. So if you'd like to be part of that choosing process, I will have a link to the Facebook page so that you can head over there. It's really fun as well because a lot of times the artists will post update pictures as they work on the piece throughout the, you know, the month. Um, and it's a great place for you to be able to post your artwork. Um, so if you'd like to do your own version of this piece uh, and you'd like to share it with us, go ahead and post that to the Facebook page. We'd love to see it. I will put a link in the description box as well to all the other members of the YouTube Artist Collective's um, videos as they come out today. So they're all going to be coming out today at some point, so you can go through and check them out. I've already probably put in a good eight hours on this piece already, but it is only about halfway done. So this is the flat coloring, and now I'm going to go back in and begin to add in the textures, highlights, and shadows using my Prismacolor color pencils. And just the sleeve, the one puff sleeve on her dress took me about 20 minutes to do just that part. Oh, yeah, this, this piece took is probably one of the most in, work intensive pieces that I've done in quite a while. I really had um, some lots of different thoughts and ideas for the roses that were around Alice's head. It kind of went back and forth between making them white or making them red or making them multiple colors. But in the end, I decided to take the part from the story where they paint the roses red and the paint's kind of dripping off the roses. So I took my red color pencil and began to add the color and kind of blended that in. But it just wasn't dark enough. So then I went back in with a pro marker and added in the red on the flowers, which looked great. But it wasn't opaque enough to make the color on like the leaves as it was dripping down. So then I went and got some red gouache and added the drippings with the gouache. So I know a lot of times you guys request um, for me to sell artwork based on books and movies and things like that. And a lot of times I can't do that just because of copyright reasons. Um, and that's one another reason why I love creating Alice in Wonderland artwork. Because it's part of the public domain, it's open for artists to do their own renditions and ideas of characters from that book. So that's always really fun. Um, and I really enjoy doing pieces like that. So here's a look at the finished piece, which I have entitled Travelers. Each piece created from the YouTube Artist Collective is for sale, including this piece. I will leave a link in the description box below where you can head over to my Etsy shop to purchase this. And then I'm hoping in the near future to be able to have prints as well, so you can keep an eye out for those. Well, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. If you're brand new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any videos. Definitely check out some of my other videos in my video archives. And until next time, God bless you guys.
and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.